Well, hello and welcome to Weekly Wisdom. I want to reflect for just a few moments on this idea, the glory of a godly spouse. How good it is to marry a person who really loves Jesus. For the men that are listening, if you're married, what a glorious thing it is if you have a wife who loves Jesus, who loves you, who walks with God. For the women listening, if you happen to marry a man who loves God, who loves Jesus, the glory, the goodness of that. Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22. He who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. There's something wonderful about having a spouse. And I'm generalizing this because often in ancient literature, it focuses on things from the men's point of view. This, this was written thousands of years ago. You may or may not like that, but it's just the way it was. What we can do is we can broaden our thinking and understand this is really saying, when you find a good spouse, a spouse who, who is honoring to God, it's a blessing of goodness to you and you find favor with the Lord. And so here's my encouragement today. If you're married, and if that person loves Jesus, and if they happen to be imperfect, which I'm confident they are, and I'm pretty sure you are too, and I know for sure that I am, even if they're imperfect, what's the goodness in them? How has God shown his favor? And would you do two things? One, just pause and thank God from the depth of your heart. Thank you, Lord, for my wife, for all she means to me, with our challenges, with the bumps along the way, with the joys and the celebrations. I thank you for her. And then, would you let her know, men, let your wife know you are blessed by her, that you love her, that she's valuable to you. And the same goes for the wives out there. Women, let your husband know that you appreciate him. Affirm him, bless him, and let God know you're thankful that he has put this man in your life. I'm not saying that there aren't challenges. I'm not saying you don't address those things. But I am saying, if the person you're married to loves Jesus, Thank God and let them know you appreciate them. Would you pray with me? God, I thank you for my wife that almost 40 years in the bumps and the challenges and the joys and the smooth sailing moments, you've been with us each step of the way. I pray, oh God, thanking you for my wife, thanking you for Sherry. And I pray you would remind me regularly to let her know face to face what she means to me. I pray the same for every person listening and for those, Lord, listening who would love to be married someday and who are not. Will you give them patience along the way and lead them to the right person in the right timing that they might experience the joy of marriage if that's your call for their life. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings on you. Have a great day. If you're part of a local church, get engaged. Be part of the family of God. Blessings on you this day.